Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Google Ads quality score and I will be showing you how to improve your quality score and optimize your Google Ads campaign. But before we talk about how to improve the score let's understand why you should improve your quality score. Well it turns out that quality score has a direct impact on your ad position. It's going to impact your cost per action and overall your your campaign performance it's going to depend on your quality score. And not just that, uh, it's, go it's also going to impact your campaign profitability because uh, since it's going to have a direct impact on your cost per action, your profitability is going to be dependent on your score. And finally, um, your quality score um, is is directly you know going to impact your ad rank as well so there are many reasons why you need to focus on quality score because uh, it, it goes across your profitability your ad rank your campaign for performance and your cost per action and um, just to give you a quick stat uh, for every increase um, in your ad quality score, um, your cost per action is going to go down by at least 15 to 18 percent. So what I mean is, um, let's say your ad quality score is 5 out of 10 um, and let's say you optimize your ad campaign and your ad quality, quality score increases by one point. So let's say your new score is 6 out of 10 then your cost per action or cost per acquisition or whatever your marketing objective is the cost for that objective is going to go down by at least 15 percent so that's how important it is and um, that's how it is related to your actual dollar amount that you're going to spend so that is those are some reasons of why you need to improve your quality score uh, let's move on and let's talk about how quality score is calculated so uh, basically your quality score is dependent on many factors and some of them are listed over here. The first one is a relevance of your keywords to your ad group, expected click through rate, landing page experience, your ad copy and relevance of text, user experience and your ad account historical performance. So these are some of the most important you know um, factors that is going to be uh, taken into consideration while calculating your quality score. Um, we can actually, you know, uh, focus on only three of them, uh, and those three are expected click-through rate, landing page experience, and your ad account historical performance. But um, you know, these factors such as user experience, it is mostly related to landing page. Your ad copy and your keywords is again related to your, um, you know, ad relevance. So uh, those are some of the factors that is going to you know, impact or that is going to be taken into consideration by Google when it comes to calculating your quality score. Um, so I talked about um, how your quality score is um, going to impact your ad position. So this is an example of how um, your um, you know, quality score um, is going to impact your position. So let's take an example. So on at the at the very um, first we have advertiser one, and let's say he's bidding like two dollars for a single click, and uh, let's say you know this advertiser has done a fantastic job in optimizing the Google ad campaign. So his quality score is uh, going to be ten on ten. So I'm I'm giving his score as ten. Naturally, the overall ad rank um, is going to be pretty high. So ad rank is equal to 20. So based on, you know, all these factors, Google will put the ad of this advertiser in, in the number one spot. So the position will be equal to one. But let's say there's a second advertiser and he's bidding twice the amount uh, as compared to the first advertiser, so the this so the advertiser two is bidding four dollar instead of two dollar, but the quality score of advertiser two is only four. 
So what happens is the add rank goes down and the add rank is going to be 16. And naturally what happens is Google will be placing the ad of this advertiser at the number two spot. So the position is equal to two. And finally we have advertiser three who is going to bid uh, a six dollar as compared to advertiser two for four dollars and two dollars um, for advertiser one. So this advertiser is actually bidding, you know, three times um, advertiser one. But um, the quality score of this advertiser is only two. So what happens is the ad rank is 12 and Google is going to put the position uh, of this advertiser three is equal to three. So the position for this advertiser is going to be three. So as you can see how important it is to increase your quality score and uh, how it's going to impact your position. So it doesn't matter if you're bidding, you know, three times or four times um, the, the general cost per click for that keyword. Um, if you can optimize your campaign and increase your quality score, you can actually decrease your cost because look at this, even though you're bidding like $2 and if there's an advertiser bidding twice the amount or thrice the amount, uh, since your quality score is high, you're actually going to spend, you know, less money over here and you are actually going to get position one. So your click through rate is, rate is going to increase because you are at number one spot. So that's how quality score impacts the ad position. Um, and basically it's going to impact your bottom line. So let's move on. Um, I want to quickly give you, um, you know, the percentage of um, of how Google um, calculates um, your quality score and the source of this image is from search engine land. Um, basically um, what they're saying is um, expected click-through rate and landing page experience accounts for almost 40% uh, in terms of how Google calculates the quality score and ad relevance is 20, 22%. So look at this, if you can increase your expected click-through rate and if you do a good job in optimizing your landing page, you are actually uh, working to optimize um, those 80% uh, factors that Google in takes into consideration uh, when calculating a quality score. So just keep in mind that uh, expected click-through rate and landing page experience uh, weighs more when it comes to um, you know calculating the QS. Um, Okay, so let's uh, you know talk about how you can improve your quality score. The number one tip I want to give is structure your campaigns into targeted ad groups. So what I mean is, um, let's say you know um, you have a campaign and um, let's say you created an ad group and there are like fifty to hundred keywords. Well, it's really hard to uh, figure out or target you know, an audience based out of all those 50 keywords because I'm sure, you know, um, some of the keywords might not be related and um, if you just create one ad group, um, you know, focusing on many different audiences and many different topics, then your campaign is not well organized. But if you split your campaign and if you create multiple ad groups and if each of those ad groups uh, target a specific category of your website or specific product category, then um, you are actually organizing your ad campaign and you are increasing the relevance of those keywords within those ad group. And naturally what you're doing is you are increasing the overall relevance score um, of your ad. So make sure to structure your campaigns into targeted ad groups. Um, and by structuring our campaign, um, as I mentioned earlier, you are increasing the relevancy between the search query and the ad. Uh, the reason being, since you are splitting your campaign into multiple ad groups, and each of those ad groups has a specific theme, or it has a specific you know, logic, um, and all the related keywords are within one single ad group, you are actually increasing the relevancy between the search query and the ad. The next thing is um, 
It's gonna help you to organize your ad groups and make it more specific. Uh, you will be able to add related keywords within the ad group. Um, and um, the other thing I wanna mention is, it allows you to have small number of keywords per ad group. So let's say you just create one ad group and you target like 50 to, 50 to 100 keywords. Well, it's gonna be hard for you to manage and optimize. But since you are creating multiple ad groups, you are able to have only a small number of keywords per ad group. And uh, finally, I wanna mention, you should group by logic or theme. Example, branded versus non-branded, uh, specific categories, products or services. And that's how you can you know, split your campaign into multiple ad groups. And overall, when you do this, uh, it will help you to increase your click-through rate. So that's your you know, um, first step in terms of uh, increasing your quality score. The next one is focus on ad copy optimization. So what I mean is make sure to add relevant keywords in the ad copy. So let's say you're selling tennis shoes and um, and the keyword that you have added is tennis shoes. Then make sure that you add those keywords in your description and titles. Um, so add your keywords in your description and title um, and make sure that you write high quality ads um, because by writing high quality ads and ad copy, you're actually going to increase your um, ad relevance. And um, if you have those keywords, it's going to naturally bump up your score for that ad. Um, and, and in the eyes of Google, your ad will be much more relevant and it's going to give you extra points for that. So by working on ad copy, you are able to add those keywords. It's going to be in your title and description and in the eyes of Google, your ad relevance is going to go high. And um, this is something that you can try out. You can implement dynamic keyword insertion. If you don't know what it is, I have a separate video tutorial in my channel. Uh, some people disagree that uh, by adding dynamic keyword insertion, uh, it's gonna clutter or it's, it's gonna make your ad copy a little bit more tricky. But I have generally um, gotten good results by using dynamic keyword insertion. Um, so you might try this if you if you are really interested in you know optimizing your ad copy. But yeah, that's your second tip. Um, you know, work on your ad copy. The next one is use expanded search ads, um, also known as responsive text ads. Uh, with expanded search ads, um, you are able to show up to three headlines instead of two and you are able to show up to 290 character description fields instead of just 180 character. So naturally, you're getting more uh, you know, real estate in terms of adding more data or adding more text in the headline and description. So basically, it is going to occupy more space in your ad, and naturally, you are able to add more keywords, more information, and thereby increasing your click-through rate. So use expanded search ads. It's the new version uh, where Google allows up to three headlines and two description. Um, so that's how you know you can use expanded search ads to increase your click-through rate. Um, and again, the next one is landing page optimization. This is again very important. Uh, you need to add relevant content that matches your ad. Make sure to add your keywords in your landing page because Google is going to crawl your landing page and it's going to check if um, you know those keywords are present and uh, even think about your user. Let's say you know your user clicks on your ad based on a certain keywords and if they go to your landing page and if there is no information about that topic then it's a bad experience that you're providing. So um, make sure that you add your keywords in your landing page so that you know it is relevant um, and since you, I, I told you about organizing your campaign into multiple ad groups, uh, it will be awesome if you create separate, separate landing page for each of those ad group, because by doing so, you are able to add, you know, uh, specific keywords for each of those landing page. I know it's hard to do this because, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's not feasible to create, you know, 10 different landing pages. But if you have like one or two or two to three ad groups, then I would recommend splitting the landing page. It's gonna increase your uh, landing page experience 
um, and and basically it's gonna you're gonna give, get more score for that and in terms of technical optimization try to decrease your page load time um, because it's gonna reduce your bounce rate and all these will give good signals uh, to Google saying that the landing page experience is good so once Google understands that your landing page experience is good um, naturally you know you will get more um, score for those parts and overall your um, ad quality score is going to go high and finally I want to mention you should definitely add negative keywords um, because by it allows you to analyze your search terms report uh, it helps you to find patterns and by adding negative keywords um, you are able to add uh, you know those unwanted keywords into negative list which will help you to re reduce wasteful clicks uh, and save cost in the long run and one last tip make sure to use ad extensions I have a separate video tutorial on Google Ads extension uh, it's a fantastic way to you know uh, use like site link call out um, you know location extensions review extensions and basically um, they are additional or supplementary information uh, that goes along with your headline and description and it plays a very important factor in increasing your click-through rate so that's it guys uh, in terms of what exactly is quality score why you need to focus on quality score and how you can optimize your Google Ads campaign uh, based on these tips uh, and overall increase your quality score so that you can get more profitable and um, you know reduce your cost per acquisition or cost per click and get more conversions if you have any questions let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time thank you